What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. God, I'm so excited. I gotta get this video done before I head into work today. But over at Gamescom, they have finally released all of the information that we have. Some or maybe not all of it, but more information for season six with the expansion. And gosh, we got the patch notes right here for you. Shout out to Adam Fletcher for posting them here. But we're gonna go over all of them and just break some stuff down and what's coming and what's new. So that way you guys can hear it here first. So you guys already know that mercs are coming so let's break down some of the stuff that's actually happening with mercenaries so they've gone over some of the land in the hantu which is really really cool this is going to be a brand new section um which they're they're symptoms of mephestu the lord of hatred which is great it seems to be like that's going to be our new boss which is going to be fantastic so there's some really good images here for that and then you got the vast jungles of nahatu that brings you new allies and challenges you can fight through the dark citadel co-op which we're going to talk about in more detail here and then more in your mercenary so we got a nice little image there so never fight alone mercenaries are by your side now we have known that these are coming uh for a while now and we got the little teaser yesterday during gamescom but to, in order to actually use these we got some more information so unlock during the main quest in vessel of hatred the Salwar partners are here to ensure you never fight alone. Okay, so you're going to unlock this through the main quest and then um, descend into the den, the secret hideout for the mercenaries and complete key quests, bring further unique <coughs> brigands to your side. So the mercenaries, the Motley crew, there's four of them. You guys got your shield bearer, the cursed child, the berserker, and then the bounty hunter. Okay, so you can seek out these and other mercenaries throughout Nohantu, which is great. And then they have their own quest lines to be able to recruit them, which is really cool. They give some nice little breakdowns here of the shield bearer, the berserker, the uh, cursed child, and then your bounty hunter or the drunken archer, which is really cool. So how do you get these? All right, you're going to enlist them and hire the mercenaries. Mercenaries can offer their support by joining your party. You're going to hire them when playing solo or by selecting them to add key reinforcements in times of need. So if you see here on this still, all right, you can come in here and it's gonna be up here during your skills bar uh, where you can cycle through. This is where you can see like your Paragon board, your class specific abilities, and then you're gonna be able to see mercenaries. And it's great, just like in Diablo 3, you got some skills that you can give them. And then there's gonna be a rapport section here. So you have the choice to select one of the mercs as hired. Again, this is going to be only when you're solo. So all I can assume is that when you're in a party, the merc is going to go away. Mercenary reinforcements. Select another unlocked merc within the den to be your combat reinforcements. Reinforcements will emerge during combat to perform a skill and aid you. Each merc has abilities that they can use, which you see here on the uh, skill bar, which is great. Um, and you can set it up when you like, hey... You can have their opportunity to set when you activate a control impairing effect. So you CC them or you freeze them. Boom, the mercenary pops out, does what he does, and then goes away, which is really, really cool. Um, know that you will have different hired mercenaries than the ones who are currently in reinforcement. You can unlock these outside of Rahir. You'll be able to equip them in both slots. So earning rapport. How do we level up these things? So trust is important when it comes to the mercenaries. So to, to do this, it's known as rapport. Uh, it's what you'll use to upgrade your mercenary to earn skills, unlock more abilities, their caches, and increase your ability to barter with each of their courts. So if you see here, it's kind of similar to what we've been getting each season with the little like leveling stuff up as you do things. Uh, you earn rapport by completing any activity or killing worthy foes with the mercenary hired or as a reinforcement. So it's very easy. You just hire them. You just have them follow you around. You're going to kill stuff and you're going to rank them up. Very easy to do. I really do like that there's the quick little travel to the den there, which I think is awesome. Pale marks. Okay. Each rapport with different marks, using them as reinforcements or hired hands. Uh, each mercenary has 10 levels of rapport to earn and it give you additional pale marks. So pale marks are used to enter trade agreements, restock mercenary inventory, and barter for goods in the mercenary den. Bartering and trade agreements become available upon reaching level five. So this should be where you're going to get gear that you can use to add to your character, etc. I think this is kind of cool that you can do this here. Um, I'm hoping that, like that each mercenary becomes a vendor, which is great. We have been asking for so long to have like the original vendors be able to have legendary items and etc. So this is going to be really, really cool to have trade agreements or barters with the mercs in order to get like some better items as you're leveling up through the game. 
Pale marks can be used to broaden the items they have available for barter, um, along with their influence, which changes the items that they actually have. So through each of these warriors, it deals in death. They carry their own speciality in the den, seeking out their corresponding talents. You can with blacksmith, occultist, jeweler, and stash holders. So this is going to be really, really cool. I think that the uh, it's going to be very, very easy to to kind of navigate the mercenaries and your your hired allies and just having them come in and do things and then leveling them up. I think it's going to be very easy. I think it's going to be great for solo play. I think it's going to be a huge addition to it. So. But let's get to the more important thing, which everybody is curious about. And that is rappelling into the Kazahar, Kazra, Kazra Threat in the Dark Citadel, which is the new, we call them raids, but they're calling it a dungeon. So deep in the heart of Nahantu lies a twisted uh, testament for the new dungeon, which lies an ultimate co-op challenge. So you have to do this as co-op. The end game co-op dungeon rewards groups of players that can best the many perils within Venture into three individual wings, solve challenges, face deadly battles, and collaborate to emerge uh, and face the final boss. So, more than one wanderer has tried and failed. The Dark Citadel is truly a tough place. Brave Dark Citadel. It holds three different wings that you guys can do. Uh, besting each of these wings in your effort. Each wing can be taken down as a group or can be done in multiple visits, which is awesome. This is literally a raid, which is just fantastic. I think this is really, really cool. Each covenant rewards. So each week you can earn weekly rewards cash for the first time the Dark Sentinel is completed. These caches grant you a resplendent and exclusive items only offered in the Dark Citadel resplendent sparks okay see now that makes it worth it as opposed to the gauntlet which just gives you a cash where completing one dungeon gives me better items than the the gauntlet gives me so this is fantastic i mean maybe it's not a spark but it says resplendent uh through the dark citadel you earn citadel coins which are unlocking cosmetics to the dark citadel which are cool this is actually kind of neat looking um unlock the path to the citadel it becomes available once you reach the end game you receive a quest line that you have to do to unlock it, which is great. And then you can find allies and bolster your party. Yes, guys, we are finally getting a party finder. I know everybody has been going crazy about a party finder for certain things that we're doing inside of the game. So it looks like you have it here. You got nightmare dungeons, right? Uh, other nightmare dungeons or like uh, regular dungeons, nightmare dungeons, the... Um, Infernal Hordes, the Pits, and then you have, uh, what is that? What is that? Um, are they calling that the Hell Tides or is that the Strongholds? So this is fantastic that they have this here. You can see the friends in party, competitive, the, the different like kind of like what you're looking for. This is so great that we finally got a party finder. It gives you the ability to list what exactly you're trying to do, and then you can use it to find multiple things. So if you need help on stuff, Party Finder is 100% the way to go. So I'm glad that the Party Finder is here. It's very easy to use and navigate. And then you just join. So, oh, I need help doing this. I need help with Nightmare Dungeons. Boom, you just join in and everybody's communicating and doing Nightmare Dungeons. Super easy to do. You can use the Party Finder to do multiple activities. Uh, select wings uh, to complete in the Dark Citadel. Find other players to share materials to do summon endgame bosses. So if you're looking to get a particular item or defeat a boss, you can do that. This is a huge, huge dub. If I can get the blue stuff off here, huge dub for the game. Now, discover the underbelly of the Karast Undercity. A plague grows in the belly of Karast, a sickness in Nahantu. The Undercity is a new multi-stage time attack dungeon perfect for leveling towards endgame content and targeting powerful items as you progress. So this is another way. These are kind of like these dungeons that they talked about. So you can clear the streets, augment your run, and reap the rewards. So in the Undercity, every second counts as you fight against the Horde and Demons. Hmm, this kind of sounds like a uh, like the, the Gauntlet, but probably way better. Uh, as gained through killing monsters and completing events, slay powerful uh, demons to extend your time in the Undercity to reach the final boss. Hmm, this sounds like we're going to go ahead and get rid of the gauntlet, and this will be our new time challenge. Undercity is a prime location to source power and push to your highest potential. So this is a great way um, to level up your character and get some really good rewards. Progression updates. Uh, progression updates with the Vessel of Hatred offer permanent and fundamental shift in how you level and progress in the world. 
and an overhaul similar to the overhaul to the itemization that we got guys so you'll be able to access deeper and just basically have a better way to level up which is great uh if you pre-order the vessel of hatred you get the brand new wings which we have and then you can do it right here it shows everything here my god wow so we got party finder we got a new dungeon to level we have the uh the big citadel which is the raid and then we got mercenaries i mean diablo 4 is starting to really cook and i couldn't be more excited i'm so pumped guys so i'm gonna leave this link down in the description below man like the video let's get this over 100 likes and let's get people knowing about what's coming in season six there's a trailer here if you want to watch it guys comment let me know what you think about all this down in the section below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace